Now, while many of us are celebrating the new year, some GP drivers ended their 2023 on a more somber note with the December 31st consolidation deadline pushing through. So what will the country's transportation sector look like this year with some PUV units now in danger of getting phased out? Evan Tanrique with this report. New year means new hope, but some jeepney drivers are feeling less hopeful this 2024. With this question running in their heads, hanggang kailan kaya kami makakabiyahe? One day after the deadline for jeepney consolidation, many jeepneys are still operating here in Manila, but not all are willingly participating. Though they are compliant with the consolidation, some feel like they had no choice. If they don't consolidate, they might lose their ability to operate. In turn, there is uncertainty on whether they could continue their livelihood for the rest of the year. Eh, mahirap na kasi, mami. Ito lang hanap buhay natin. Eh, mami, biglang tanggalin ako ng ano. Hindi na makapag... Hindi uh, na makapag-renew ng ano. Ng prangkisa. Eh, kaya... Kaya sinama ko na lang. But not all jeepney drivers I spoke to have undergone consolidation. Some have no plans to consolidate and will look for other jobs if they can't operate. Like Mark, a jeepney driver for 10 years. He says that if he can no longer operate, he plans to switch to being a motorcycle taxi driver. Hindi talaga kinaunang kinatatakutan namin yung hindi kami makabiyay. Yung, kasi nga, sabi nila yung prangkisa, mawawalan ng visa pag ano, hindi ka napag-consolidate. Plano ko eh, baka, kasi yung motor ko pasok, ipasok sa Joy Ride na lang, ganun na lang. Transport Group Piston has repeatedly protested the consolidation deadline, noting, that it's against their rights to freedom of association. Piston had also earlier warned that over 60,000 public utility vehicles could be phased out due to the consolidation rule. With that, the group says that the country could face transport crisis this year. Nanindigan po yung ating mga operator at uh, talaga nga hindi sila papasok doon sa consolidation sapagkat uh, sabi nga natin ay uh, kung sa ilalim naman talaga ng modernization program, bakit tayo ay inuobligat, inabsolute tayo na mag-consolidate? Ito ay malinaw na paglabag doon sa Freedom Association. However, the Department of Transportation was firm on the deadline. Currently, a 30-day period is given to unconsolidated jeepney drivers or operators to explain why they decided not to follow consolidation protocol. According to the Transportation Department, this is not a deadline extension, but is just a part of due process. Plano nila ay dapat uh, by tomorrow, very soon, no? Bigyan na ng show cause yung ating mga operators kung uh, sila ba or rather bakit hindi sila nag-consolidate. So sasagot naman po sila at based on the letter or answer ng ating mga operators, magdi-decide na po yung ating LTFRB board sa assuming yung isang operator na yon ay hindi nag-consolidate, hindi siya nag-consolidate up to December 31, then eventually that will be the basis for the decision ng ating LTFRB board to revoke or cancel po yung kanyang prangkisa. For now, most GPs that have consolidated are just waiting for the paperwork confirming their application. This way, if authorities question them, they have documents to show. The exact numbers on consolidated jeepneys and operators are expected to be released tomorrow. Bottom line is, whether they like it or not, consolidation is a must for PUV drivers to continue operating. And for those jeepney drivers and operators who choose not to, they might just look for a resource of income. Mobile journalist Ivan Tarinke, We are One News.